personally for me at S1 it's more of the community. It's kind of like this is the closest thing to when I was studying in college. I remember working really hard but having a lot of fun as well because of the people that were around me. I'm a Geo Law, I'm a freelance illustrator. I'm based in Sheffield. My practice per se is mainly me drawing pictures for clients, magazines, uh, websites, for marketing. Just anyone who needs like a picture drawn for whatever purpose I kind of produce it. Well the best one out of space. I I think I was kind of around the scene when uh, when uh, quite a few of my art student friends were kind of uh, uh, attending the parties and things like that. And at the time, the parties were kind of really well known. Uh, basically, when I got my studio space here, I was a commercial tenant uh, running my own clothing label uh, downstairs. But because the nature of like kind of commercial uh, spaces and the artist spaces, they're separate. So I didn't really interact with any of the artists until maybe halfway through the year where we keep passing each other in the corridor, keep talking to each other and most of them now are like really good friends of mine. So once I left my commercial tenancy, I moved upstairs uh, as an, uh, into an artist studio. I don't need a lot of space to work in, but it helps to have a nice space to work in. A place where like you can put pictures up on the wall or just kind of like, if I need to do a painting or something like that, I can just kind of go go up to another desk. But in that kind of respect, I'm quite malleable, so yes, I would I'd be absolutely like mortified if, if, for instance, if S1 had to close down and we couldn't have a studio space. Uh, currently, the art scene has kind of like many faucets to it, so there's I, I kind of concentrate mostly on the graphic design and illustration scene, street art scene as well per se, but there are, I mean we've had, we have a lot of kind of uh, art festivals here, mostly contemporary art, and they're always interesting to go to because again, a, a, you see a lot of people kind of crossing over into, dip, into each other's events and things, so you kind of end up supporting a lot of the artists, like a lot of the artists at S1, we all we all go to each other's shows because a to support each other, but it's also intriguing because we have first-hand kind of knowledge of the artist and we know them as people as well as creatives. So it's it's diverse. I do feel that like um, like certain practices always kind of cross over. I've not really uh, worked alongside any of the artists that are here, that are here, but. I kind of get some interesting feedback from them because you know of differing, differing opinions, and and likewise I kind of give out my opinion on the, their work, like if it visually kind of intrigues me or or it makes me ask questions of it. Mm -hmm.